it's no secret that one of the biggest issues when it comes to motorsport in Ireland is always the lack of tracks, especially when it comes to being out in the country and down here in Munster. But as you might be able to tell behind me, that might be changing very soon. Here in Kerry we have nothing really where we can test or we can try out our cars um, or take part in motorsport events. However, uh, that's going to change soon. Introducing 360 Motorsports Park. This place is called 360 Motorsports Park and it is in Kerry and yeah, this place is absolutely class. Where else would you have something like this with, with like just valleys and hills? So Shane, this is your first time down here at the 360 Motorsport Park. What's your thoughts so far? Uh, so far, absolutely amazing track. It's absolutely totally different to anything I've driven before. The elevation changes here are massive. I think there's over like 10 meters of an elevation change. So at times like when you're coming up the hill, you cannot even see what's ahead of you. You just gotta know the track, you gotta commit to it. It's really, really fast, it's really tight, it's really technical. Um, I definitely think it's one of the best tracks I've ever driven. It's absolutely brilliant. And aside from that, it's even close, it's close to you, like it, yeah. obviously, obviously it's close, really close to me, yeah. but for you as well, it makes the kind of journey for track, for practice days and stuff a lot closer exactly. as well. Exactly, like over the last five, six years that we've been drifting, we've always spent like two and a half, three hour journeys getting to tracks, I think we're just over an hour to get to here, it's really accessible for anyone in the west of Ireland, brilliant track close on, like we definitely can't complain on this side of the country. This is your first time out in a track and you already, yeah. you've taken to like a duck to water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to see what happens with IDC here because, you know, I don't think Kerry's ever had a drift event. Um, so having something like this in pretty much up in the mountains yeah. is going to be quite interesting. No, look, we're definitely looking forward to coming here for IDC. Like it looks like a really competitive track. The tracks are going to be super close here. Like it's really going to test drivers. I think more than any other track in Ireland ever been tested. So bring on IDC, we can't wait. And you know what? It adds, I think we said it off camera. It adds variety. Yeah, it, it adds variety yeah, to the yeah. calendar in it Ireland. Everything. It's got long straights. It's got real tight turns. It's got big turns. We got uphill. We got downhill. Pretty much has everything you could want in the drift track. Like so, I don't think anyone that's ever going to come here to drive are going to be disappointed. Definitely not. Shane, thank you so much for chatting, and best of luck with the rest of the season. Aside from drift cars, one of the other cars testing here today is this EJ1 Honda Civic Coupe. Uh, it is being driven by Billy Burke. He's currently testing it ahead of the Ballyfinan Hing Climb. It's running 400 horsepower from a B18 Turbo and also has a Quave sequential gearbox and KW competition coilovers. Shows you the range, front wheel drive time attack car, rear wheel drive S15 drift car. Some of the other cars around here for this test day, we have this S14 200 SX and a pair of BMW E36s, both of these in white. This one here is a 328i and that one over there is an M3 Evo. So we get a bit of an understanding of the layout of the track here as well. Comes around, this would have been the old hot rod track from years ago. So it's all been recently resurfaced and we have essentially a large OVA as we're being demonstrated here with this separate kind of like loop section here. So there's a couple of different layouts that this can be run in. Um, we'll watch as this one comes around. Kind of a viewing section up there i think that's going to be the judging tower um, we have this kind of loop and then it goes into an oval well it goes from an oval into the loop there's a couple of different layouts you can see by the tire marks here we could go around here and up and around and back or else loop the long way around or the reverse of that which is currently being showed by that car just gone 
and while there's a bit of work to be done before this place is officially open to the public it is amazing to see the work that's been already done I saw this place a couple of months ago before it was all tarmacked and before the containers were put up and it looked good it was good to get the vision I didn't expect that the vision would come through quite this strong um, because this place is class this is like something you would imagine you'd see in like a racing game and to think this is only like you know half an hour from Killarney 45 minutes from Killarney is just wild it gives us an opportunity to also do some really cool things with cars test out a couple of cars also maybe like that pick up something as a bit of a drift car that we can enjoy and have a bit of fun with but where I'm standing here gives a real understanding of just that elevation change so I'm currently standing Standing on like a bit of an elevated section here but if you take like the top section up there you can see how much it drops off comes around here and then goes to probably that's probably the deepest point there Hopefully. <laughs> it doesn't blow. <laughs> 